Guys, I've been waiting for this moment. We are back again. We got another great show for you guys. I got Frank, Anthony, both with me. Things are going down tonight. What up, what up? What's, what's up, people? All right, all right. Today, I wanted to cover, um, we're kind of moving on. We're going into managing our roster. We got a lot of stuff we got to break down. You came to the right place. We know why you're here. You know why you're here. We're trying to win, right? We're all about the money. It's not about the money, um, right? It's, it's about, about bragging belts. rights. The rings. Hey, see, we all got our different reasons. Um, but you're here, so I just want to break it down, Frank. Give, hey, give us the one, two. <laughs> Hit the intro. <laughs> So, you know, setting your lineup, you know, is starts. It's basically the fun part of, you know, fantasy football. You got past all the the draft, all the tension that happened. Did all your roster baiting after <laughs> afterwards after you drafted. Definitely you going over your team and drooling over it. Now week one, two, three week has one. started, and now you got to decide. You know, who are you going to start? Who's going to stay in your lineup? Who's going to be your starting quarterback? Whatever positions you have on your team. You know, wide receivers, running backs, tight ends. Who is going to be the main people? You know, um, there's all old, old saying. How's it go, Anthony? Basically, start your studs and don't get cute. <laughs> you know, it's you're not the time. Yeah, you're <laughs> going to hear it a lot of the time. When it comes to your start set questions, we're just going to say start your stud. You know, if you're calling up asking, you know, should I start an RB1, you know, a top five, you know, guy, you know, that went in the draft or top five producer at the time, you know, of the, of the start set question, we're or just going to say, yeah, squad. start that guy, you know, or a practice squad guy at a quarterback, maybe. Yeah. And, yeah. And cost, cost you two leagues. Um, yeah. Just no, so, don't get cute. So your starts are the guys you drafted, the guys that you already know, you know, are proven commodities. They're going to get you those points that you need to get you the win. I mean, at the, at the end of the day. So, like Anthony said, don't get cute because you're going to be, you know, caught with your pants down. That's for daily fantasy. If you want to get cute, get, get cute on daily fantasy and, yeah. you know, set those crazy rosters up. Pick up that guy that, you know, scored three touchdowns last week and is going to get you, you know, two yards this week, you know. But go for nope. it, you know. No nope. guys do Go have for to. the wild card. Go to win that week. Know what to expect. I'm telling you, hey, if you got a tight end starting at quarterback, I'm probably gonna start him. If you got if you got something crazy going on, you got a practice squad guy going for quarterback. It's not always gonna work in our favor, guys. Right? That's a deep fantasy uh, uh, <laughs> reference. If you played fantasy football in 2020, it was rough for some of us guys that like to live on the edge. You know, we'll give you both perspectives. So Definitely. What happens when the player does go down, or what happens when the guy goes? Uh, on a bye week, and your backup guy on your bench is on a bye week. Where do I get another guy at? Waiver right. wire. Frank, yeah. what if my aunt had a mustache? She'd be my uncle, right? <laughs> we can't think of all this kind of stuff. Sometimes you just got to fly by the seat of your pants, as they say. I have no clue what that reference means. <laughs> hey, but it's just it's just different strategies, guys. It's going to be fun. That's what's uh, – yeah, I mean no, – we're not going to agree on everything every week. That's what's going to make it fun. Managing your rosters is you let your personality subjective. come through. Yeah, yeah that's where you let your personality come through. Decision at all. That's why this is where you're talking to your friends, your coworkers at lunch on break. Do it on the. You're coffee. talking to us. You're talking to yeah. us. You're sending us your messages, yeah. your comments, your your uh, your so your questions. Last minute bad decisions go by, and then you're regretting it. Nice I've done so many Those last minute I'm Mr. Bad, bad Decision. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Mr. <laughs> bad Decision over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so about that waiver wire. <laughs> when do we pick up a player? You know, uh, you know, who's who's first? Who gets the, the first pick at those guys that are available, you know? Um, you know, usually it's the last guy that got the uh, last pick in the draft gets the first pick, and it, it kind of rotates from there. For the next guy up, if he doesn't get the pick, take a pick, then he'll stay at that number one position. 
uh, till the next week when the waiver, waiver wire comes around again. Uh, so that's how you hold a position so that you don't go after the height players and you wait for that major player that's coming around or based on your needs. Maybe you don't have to go to the waiver wire. Why would you want to drop some of your good players? You know, why would you even want to use it? But, I mean, if you have to use it, you got to go there because of injury or because of bye weeks. You're yeah. right. But now I on completely the flip, disagree. Hey, on, <laughs> hey, on the flip side, on the flip side, I'm hanging on. If I think this running back is going to help your team, and mostly if it's a running back, you'll hear, hey, well, I mean, we're all running back hungry, but I'm yeah. snatching that player. Sure. If I think he's got potential, I'm putting him on my bench. I want to use them against you. I don't want you to have them. And we will get into one of our favorite shows next. Trade to bait. Trade him. I, yep. I, I, I will sell this guy at nothing. So, so I, this guy is a waiver is, wire hawk. That's the guy that just picks up every player that comes up so that he can hoard them or try to trade them away, I guess, obviously. Don't be there's, other players, there's other strategies. I'm going to wire a bald eagle. So you don't have to do that. <laughs> hey, don't, I like what Frank's saying. Don't be that guy that's going to pick somebody up off the waiver wire before you and then try to trade him to you. Like, I seen him on the waiver wire. Like, <laughs> you're not a genius for picking him up. Let him get a few good weeks. <laughs> Let his stock rise, rise. Before, yeah. you tra- before you try to trade. Yeah. yeah. So unless, high. So unless high. It so high. When you pick up some of those guys, definitely so high. They may be only good for a week or two, and, you know, their value could only be. Sometimes, you know, you pick up a James Robinson, and and, and you and he's good for all season, you know. Uh, or anybody like that. that's backing up a very strong running back. Cause it could yeah. be anybody at any year. Exactly. It could be any player. You just got to have the right guy that comes up that you just have. This could be James he, Robinson's Maybe he was the rookie that didn't ever. get drafted, and he's having a really good, really good season. Maybe he was, uh, a, a, you know, a, just again, backups, you know, they're just about yeah. out there. Definitely. Hey, package deals. So I play, I play in a, all different types of leagues. I have some that have, they have absolutely no waiver wire. I commission ones with no waiver wires. Yeah. Hey, oh, if you're been... watching, if you're watching the game and you watch Frank grab his hamstring and he's walking out and that was your number one running back. Like, oh yeah. Oh, better be on there. It's it's a scramble for somebody that's going to grab that backup running back, and it's just funny when you enjoy watch the that. primary so, that's come back. A more in. active league, I think it's for a more active league. It's fun. It's fun to be like, oh, you better be on top of your stuff because that guy's mm-hmm. going to be gone. Like, yeah, hey, those leagues are fun pop? too. <laughs> did he just yeah. pop? That's COVID two weeks. Hey, that's a different running back. I love it too because those guys grab those guys. They drop somebody else for them. I pick up the guy they dropped. And uh, then the guy comes Trade back in, like, Trade yeah, the next the series. <laughs> yeah, they come back in the next series, and uh, now they're stuck with this second string guy who's never going to play again. And now I have their player that I'm going to hold for ransom and trade back to him with another piece to get one of their better you players. You bring up so. a very, very good point. So, <clears throat> Frank talked about in our last episode. I know you guys are paying attention because you've already followed us. You're watching every show because you're trying to win. Frank brought up a very good topic, um, and so it's it's just knowing your bye weeks. So there's a lot of people that don't know their bye weeks. They get stuck. You're at that point, and you're like, I have to drop somebody this week to pick up an empty position. So let's say you only have one tight end. You didn't you you didn't work out your depth chart. Um, you only have two wide receivers, one of them's on a buy or whatever your situation is. And now, like Anthony said, you a have to drop kicker. somebody. Yeah, and you have to drop them, and you're dropping a number one defense. And it's actually one of the ones like, hey, I'll just hold on to that defense for the rest and of the I year. To, yeah, I have to drop one guy on my bench that, uh, you know. You That's knowing your depth chart. Somebody, no, somebody has to go. Yeah. and Because so, I don't ha- carry a second defense. Hawking. I definitely don't carry a second kicker. Yeah. It's it's but hawking people. people. <laughs> I see I see it yeah. all the time. I'm I'm gone, one of them. A I'm gone all day, week. But a kicker you definitely don't hold on to. Yeah, I've literally gone all week. Like if my kicker's on a bye week, I'll go all week. You know, I'll just have that that kicker on a bye, and I'll pick a kicker up at like nine fifty eight, and just to make I sure nobody to. can grab my kicker, and then I'll go <laughs> grab him back off the wire. Yeah, just so he's not just out there. 
Because usually, again, I usually have a pretty good kicker, even though I don't go with kickers. I just know how to pick them up. So. Same. Yeah, I'll you wait. know, so it's I'll like, I'll just wait. It <laughs> yeah, so again, these are all just little tips and tricks on how to manage your roster. You know, we just kind of want to give you a little bit of insight on, you know, some of these little things that you can do. Um, just again, to give yourself a little, you know, a little bit of an advantage. Um, again, when you're getting into a more competitive league, or if you want to be the most competitive person in your league and uh, bring that competitiveness to it and uh, just kind of set the, set the tone for the league, you know, and, and just let them know, you know, we're, we're not here to play, play, I guess, games. We're here to play. Sleeves these are are, up. Yeah. Our sleeves are rolled up at all times. So you're, and, trying to, uh, you're trying to win as you're yeah. listening to this far, you're trying to win your league. And that either means the money, the bragging rights, or just sheer competitiveness and don't like to lose. You know, mm-hmm. I'm like that too. I play a game, I try to <laughs> All win. The- don't play Monopoly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't get in there. So, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so yeah, you, forget, you, you know, I want to I want to uh, pass over, you know, using your IR spots. They're, they're important for you. You know, we were just talking about picking up those guys that, you know, come up on the waiver wire because somebody got injured. But if you have, you know, an IR spot in your in your bench lineup. Make sure you save that guy and don't just drop him for free. You know, make sure that you maybe you trade him off. Some guys get traded off because you know there's nobody else better option, but somebody else will take him because they're deep in running back, like some of us here. This, <laughs> uh, you know, yeah. you know. So we are always running back heavy, or maybe somebody's wide receiver heavy, and whatever the case may be, you gotta you know move your pieces around and Anthony's always willing to trade. You know, you always got hit guys like that. There's all those, also guys that don't like, to trade. they don't make very many moves. Yeah. They just set their team and that's, they ride with it, you know, beginning of the season to the end. If they can, that, that didn't I happen. I think we named them. I think we named them. Those are the <laughs> pitches. Yeah. <laughs> I think the, you know, COVID was one of the best things I think that happened to fantasy football it, as far as some two players. <laughs> because it got them. <laughs> No, hey, it do is. It, hey, do oh, it. That out. Hear me out. <laughs> yeah, please explain. We gotta hear you out. For sure. Hear me out. Because there's been teams that are basically stagnant. They don't make many moves. They don't. They don't do so much on the waiver wire. And this year forced them because their whole team maybe have you know a couple of guys because they didn't play this week or they were gonna get postponed because of COVID. It forced them to use the waiver wire. It forced them to make more trades than usual, I think. And I think that's yeah. what brought around it more competitive than some of these guys because they had to go look at that league every week to figure out whether your guy was starting or did he have COVID. Yeah, okay. Your, your, your wording was debatable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. But your explanation was good. made sense. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll let you pass on that one. I had to go somewhere. <laughs> hey, you got to talk about COVID. It's good COVID. I'm not no, sure it's, it's, a, it's a serious yeah. thing. Hey, yeah. Hey. No, it's Later a serious on, thing. 20 years down the line. Remember those COVID videos? Yeah, the COVID <laughs> years. Yeah, the dark years. The dark years. Um, but no, I mean, I agree. You know, and it, and that's what it's all about. You know, staying on top of your roster. You know, you're going to have that, that, you know, there's nothing worse than playing against a team that's, you know, doesn't have their roster managed and they're starting somebody on a bye week and you lose to them. You know, that's that's the worst thing that happened. Oh. It will happen. <laughs> it will we'll always happen. And well, so we're going to have commissioner I'm, tips. So if, <laughs> if you are commissioner of your league, like, honestly, I'll go through a, hey, I'm going to recap everything. You yeah. came to the right place. I hate the little cheap plugs. You came to the right place because we're going to get your waiver wire pickups. We're going to talk about who got injured. We're going to talk about possible trades and on top. That's gonna be we. That's gonna be weekly, every week. So we are still doing the research for you. For that, Frank, Anthony, I appreciate your time. Um, another great one, right on. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being on. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Yeah. Please like and subscribe.